What is going on guys? It's your boy Pcom Fun Fan 97 and I have another tutorial for you guys and this is how to record a voiceover in the new iMovie. To do this, simply go into the window uh the window option there on the menu bar and go into record voiceover and the shortcut is V if you guys want to access that quicker. So go to window record voiceover and it will give you three options, one to close the wind the uh, voiceover, one to record in, the other one is the options. Now, simply, if you click this uh, microphone icon, that will start recording, and if you click it again, it will stop recording. This right here gives you the voiceover options. If you click on that, it gives you the input source. This is pretty much what goes into your MacBook, such as a Blue Yeti, an Audio, uh, uh, a Audio Technica AT2020. If you guys have that microphone, go ahead and comment below, because that is a great microphone as well. Uh, you can also use the built-in microphone. Uh, which is in the MacBook Pro, the iMac, such as, uh, you know, you get what I mean. Why I've tap, uh, pretty much this, I couldn't have, it's a software where you could record uh, your voice, but it didn't work out and I couldn't, I never got to remove it, so it's always been stuck there. But you will have the, either this one, if you have a microphone into your computer, or a built-in microphone. This is the Blue Yeti, by the way. If you guys want to know that the volume um if you move this the slider uh to closer to zero that will decrease the volume and if you uh like slide it to the right to uh, about 100 percent this will give you 100 percent volume which it will increase so this will increase what you already have set so you can see right there that is is yellow and that is really loud so if i move it all the way to the top it gives you red, which means it's really loud. So keep it in between in the middle, about 50%, which is by default. Now, if you, if you can see that it gives you mute project. Now, mute project, this will mute the project that you that you are, like, say, in this case, this. And if I were to play it, or once I were to play it, you can see that there is um, sound playing. So that will pretty much mute the project. And let me play it again. I don't think you guys can hear that, but it is playing. So, um, if you check that, it means it will mute it so you guys have less distraction. And you guys can hear your voice when you record. So, to begin recording, you'll you click this icon and it will give you three seconds, uh, a three second delay so you guys can start recording. So, it's going to start recording right here. What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Peekum Fun Fan 87 and this is an audio test so you guys can hear it. Now, you can see in the duration right here that it is increasing. That's how long the duration is and how long you've been recording. If you click it again, it will give you the stop recording option. And I got this footage from stockfootage.com, or you can go into their webs or their YouTube channel, Stock Footage, so support them, guys. And I'm going to stop it. So now if I were to play from the beginning, I just click play, click exit, and then click play. What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Pecom Fun Fan 87 and this is an... You will see that it is playing... Now you can hear my voice and the thing probably at the same time, but you will notice that in the video footage right here in the timeline, it decreased the actual, um, the sound, the sound waves. It went down so you guys can hear my voice better because if it's playing at the sound that it is already, it's going to be way too loud and you can't hear my voice. So that that is why you, it decreases it. Now if you guys want to increase that, um, what you would have to do is you want to put where the marker is. This is called keyframing. You go to adjust. You go to where it says sound, and you would have to put in a uh, a keyframe. Whoops. Um, so you're gonna have to put in a keyframe. So I um, I'm not in like I'm not really familiar with the the keyframes precisely at this moment because it does it's kind of hard to do it in the new iMovie because it's really limited. But, um, yeah, I mean, if this helped you in any way, go ahead and leave a comment in the description. Uh, you know, leave a rating, which will kind of make me happy. It will bring a smile to my face. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.